beautiful Marques course at Woburn Golf Club for the English Amateur Golf Championship 2011, supported by Abacus. Today is the 36th hole final between Steve Brown of Wentworth and Jamie Clare of Burnham and Barrow. Before we get into the final, let's take a look at the last few days, which is, after all, one of the toughest weeks in the world of amateur golf. An enormous field of 288 players began the week hoping to lift the prestigious trophy. Among them were a number of higher profile golfers, such as Neil Raymond, who was the winner of the Brabazon Trophy just a few weeks before. Obviously Brabazon champion, um, turning out this week, there's a lot of expectation, but I feel, I feel I'm in good form um, and I just want to get into the match play and see what my match play form is like this week. But he struggled to find that same trophy winning form and was beaten 5-4 and four by Paul Lockwood in the first match play round. Another player to leave the tournament earlier than expected was last year's runner-up, Warren Harmston. Level par after the two stroke play rounds left him in 16th place. But in the second round he came up against his Wentworth teammate Steve Brown, who was playing some sensational golf and lost a close match 2-1. England A squad member Ben Lockery also did very well at the stroke play stage, finishing third at an impressive four under par, but went out in the first round to Charles Bull in a match that was decided at the final hole. The schedule's very, very tough. You've got to play a lot of golf. The week starts gently, but then you go on to play 36 holes every day match play, and it could be more holes if your matches are tight. So you've got to be fit, you've got to be ready to go a long way. Um, but yeah, it's very tiring. The English Amateur Golf Championship, now in its 81st year, is the big one. It's the one the players all want to win because at the end, when they're presented with their trophy, they're told they are the champion golfer of England for 2011 in this case. And when you look at the list of players that have won it on that trophy, it's absolutely fantastic. The, the vast majority of the top amateur golfers have made it. So Michael Benallet several times, through to Nick Faldo, through to Paul Casey winning it twice. And then in recent years, those professionals that are coming through thick and fast and Tommy Fleetwood winning it last year was an exceptional result. As the week progressed, Stiggy Johnson of Sunningdale Golf Club was one player looking like a real contender. The tournament leader after the first day's stroke play, he beat Jamie Harrison of Rotherham 4-3 in the first match play round and then came through against local lad John Kemp at the first extra hole. But the third round was as far as he got after an extremely close match with Philip Ridden, who eventually won it at the 18th. Another third round highlight was the match between two highly fancied players in Dave Coupland and Jack Senior. The England squad member raced into a four up lead after just six holes, but by the eighth it had been pegged back to two up. They then halved the next seven holes in a row before Senior won the 16th to clinch a nail biting match three and two. In the quarter-final he came up against the relatively unknown Jamie Clare from Burnham and Barrow and must have fancied his chances. But in another extremely tight encounter he eventually bowed out to the youngster at the very last hole. To be honest I don't feel like I've played particularly bad, just a few bad shots here and there and it's, it's a very punishing golf course um, when that happens. When it came to the semi-finals the 17-year-old Clare met fellow youngster Callum Shinquin, which meant the final was guaranteed to be contested by a junior golfer. In a dramatic match, Jamie quickly found himself two down after two holes, but managed to steady the ship just as quickly and was back to all square by the fifth. He edged in front after the turn and eventually won the match two and one at the 17th. So the lineup for the final was decided and on a beautiful summer's morning, it was the honor of the EGU's chief exec, John Petrie, to make the all important announcements. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the final of the 81st English Men's Amateur Golf Championship being played over 36 holes of match play on the Marcus Course at Woburn Golf Club. Ladies and gentlemen, on the tee, Stephen Brown. On the tee, Jamie Clare. So the final was underway and both players were eager to get off to a positive start. But after Brown left himself a tap-in for par, 
Jamie Clare needed this part to halve the first hole. Brown wins the hole in four to five. Brown, one up. We're picking up the action at the 13th and unfortunately it's not been a good morning for Jamie Clare. It's not over yet but it's going to be a tough job for him to come back and let's face it, a 17 year old against somebody like Steve Brown in such good form, it's going to be tough for the youngster. On the par 3, 14th and Jamie Clare's just managed to chip onto the green. Steve Brown's in the bunker so this is a real opportunity for Jamie to come back again. Well, they've just finished the 14th and Claire managed to pull one back, so where's he going to go from here? We're at the par 5 15th and Jamie's resurgence continues as his drive just managed to find the fairway, whereas Steve's found a bunker. Well, despite being in two bunkers, Steve has managed to get it on the green in three. It's going to be tough for Jamie, but possible to pull another one back. Steve did really well to get a five there, and so he remains six up. We're on the 16th, and Steve managed to find the green in two, whereas Jamie found a bunker just in front of the green. It's possibly a chance for Steve to extend his lead. That missed bunker shot has cost Jamie, and he's now seven down again. Honours were even at the 17th, and once Brown had made par on the 18th, Jamie Clare desperately needed to sink a tricky five-footer to halve the final hole of the morning's play. Brown wins the hole in four to five. Brown, eight up. Here we are halfway through the final with Stephen eight up. Um, you never say never in golf. Uh, anything can happen and uh, certainly if Jamie won the first two or three holes or two or three holes over the first five holes, the momentum can start to swing. So you never know, you can never say never. In the afternoon, both players came out firing and the first six holes were hard. But at eight down and with time running out, Jamie Clare had to make a move. Well, we're at the seventh now and here's a great opportunity for Jamie to pull one back. He's on the green in two, whereas Stephen is still 150 yards away. Jamie's been fighting really hard. He's been matching Stephen toe to toe over the six holes and now finally on the seventh, he's pulled one back. He took the risk of taking the tiger line and he got his reward. He 
even more encouragement for Jamie on the ninth as he won that hole with a beautifully taken birdie. Stephen Brown is now only six up with nine holes to play. At the 10th, Stephen almost saw another chunk of his lead taken away, but instead of dropping in, Jamie's birdie putt shaved the hole and cruelly trickled 12 feet past on the lightning fast greens, and he couldn't convert the save. So in the end, Brown's lead was extended to 7 up with 8 to play. But at the next hole, he misfired from the greenside bunker to give Claire another potential lifeline. Jamie's birdie on the 11th means he's back to six down with seven to play, so these final shots here will be crucial. Two great pots there, so now it's Dormy Six. Great shot from Stephen onto the 13th there. Unfortunately, Jamie missed the green and it's going to be a really tough chip for him. Well, I'm here with Jamie Clare, the runner-up. Jamie, you fought a great fight there today. How does it feel to be in the final at such a young age? Well, it's obviously a great experience for me, just playing with such a great player and that. I'd like to congratulate Stephen first. And yeah, it's one of the best experiences I've had. So hopefully I can carry on this form to the next tour, which is British boys at my home club. So hopefully I can do well there as well. And how did you find the course today? Yeah, it's in great condition. Just like to thank all the green staff for that for such a great week. Great course, really enjoyed it. So how will you be celebrating? I don't know, just with the family really, because they're like my main support, so just yeah, celebrate with them. Well well done. Cheers, thanks a lot. And the English champion golfer of the year, the winner of the 2011 English Amateur Championship here at the glorious Woburn Golf Club from Wentworth Golf Club, Stephen Brown. It feels really good to be uh, English Amateur Champion. And it's good to sort of have all the hard work pay off that I've put in over the last sort of couple of years, really. It was good to play in front of the crowd. I, uh, have the best brought out of me when there's a crowd watching and I sort of get more into the focus and concentration that I need to have out there in the tournament. So um, I like having people there, especially when they're all being supportive and helping both players. It sort of brings out the best in both of us, I think. 
DG has been really, really important this year, really, in helping me get better as a player. I did a lot of training over the winter in Spain with the A squad, and that definitely helped me get prepared for the beginning of this season. And then that playing well there gave me confidence, especially for this week, to get the win. It feels great to follow in the footsteps of such great players that have won this tournament. If I can, you know, follow in their footsteps in their professional careers, or at least, you know, get half of what they've got, then I'd be really happy.